the combo potential and just the coverage of just Bayonetta. Mm -hmm. Just everywhere on the stage. <laughs> and of course, our players just figuring out where they want to start at, having a friendly conversation. <laughs> I love the cape that Jeff and Zach has on. You know, he was wearing that yesterday during Top 8. I saw that. Uh, like, really during Top 48. And uh, I thought, because of the colors, I actually thought it was part of his jersey. Nope. <laughs> his Phoenix 1 jersey. It's literally just a Bayonetta cape. It has, it's just butterfly wings like Bayonetta has. Yeah, I, I thought he had like a special jersey just for him. <laughs> maybe in the future sometime. I think maybe like his uh, sacred he wears over his face all the time. I think he actually has that special made by uh, Phoenix 1. Okay. As far as I saw. Well... Circa 6WX actually doing a good job of uh, maintaining his space away from Captain Zack. Ooh, using Witch Twist to actually stop 6WX's approach. Oh, oh. the wait. Captain Zack realizing that 6WX would go for a defensive option, going for an air dodge and punishing it with an air, taking his first stock. The very smart way of this part. I've not gone for the option if that would be in that situation. I'll say that much. Six W X bounced back at least, thankfully, after all that. There's one thing about Six W X, he doesn't let uh, what's happened to him really affect him. He kind of gets over it right away and then moves on. He seems like a very calm and reserved player. Wow, and with great roll, punishing the up smash with his own F smash. Definitely not a calming move, that's for sure. Up here actually connecting, now using spin attack. Up there into Witch Twist, and well, I like the jump into up air. Ooh, oh, getting a Witch Twist. Or a, I'm he sorry. didn't need to do that. Yeah. <laughs> he could just strip up smash, and that's it. But, but no. That is, in fact, uh, Captain Zack's flashy style. Mm hmm. Because even, even after he, the up smash connected and uh, he knew that he had won the game, he was still using a, a move to make uh, Bayonetta pose. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Or just do something just flashy in general. He's both a flashy player in and out of the game. Just in how, just in how he is. We all know, we've all seen him before. After sets, just like do a Bayonetta dance in front of the camera. Just to taunt his opponent just a little bit maybe. Die roll as well. Just a really... Fun player to watch in that case. Let's see what 6WS can do to adapt to Captain Zack's um, evasive style. Okay, getting an up throw into a fair. Wow, he's oh, no. delaying the attack and getting a forward air from the spin dash. Now Captain Zack back on stage, stuck on the platform, able to get down. Down tail into up air. And now 6WX able once again to get back on the ground. Oh, but he just calls out the spin dash there. Just a raw forward smash. Kept that taking the first dog of this game. Very reminiscent of game one. Up tilt into up smash, not going to connect. Still in the air after all that. Yeah, it's been in the air for quite some time. That's for sure. Oh, oh. Tempting to take him to the skies, not able to SDI out of it. Been able to get the read off of that too. To get him up there. Double ABK. Just pushing him on the side with the spring jump. Will get him back. Still not has not touched the ground. Ooh. Oh. Actually read the roll but just mistimed it. And once again getting punched with an F smash. Wow. Oh wow. Fair one. It's fair one into F smash thanks to the <laughs> Smashville platform. Thank you, Smashville platform. <laughs> once again. That that platform is relentless. It actually that's not very. You uh, really need a name for that platform, just like they have Randall and Melee. 
Because, like, at this point, it's taken so many stocks. It's made so many hype moments and sets. Uh -huh. It needs something, at least. Like, for commemoration's sake, at least. Well, I'm sure someone's clever enough to think of a name for that. Probably. Platform. But enough of the about the platform. We yes. have <laughs> Void versus Zenodo. Ooh. Both very more aggressive players, I'd say, and very combo-heavy themselves. Yeah, so I think Zeno's got a great combo game. He definitely <laughs> does, I'd say. I've seen my stream, but there are a bunch of really crazy stuff that I wouldn't expect him to actually get. But mm -hmm. see how well we can do in this set against Void. Have they played each other before? Uh, I believe so, yes. That's what I figured. And uh, with all the players, that, or all the people we have here that were at Nairo Saga, really surprised that we don't have any uh, Let's Go Voids coming from the, the crowd. Here, I got this. Let's go, Void! <laughs> I'm not the crowd though, but like I'm, I'm, one, I'm one person. Mm -hmm. let's, let's at least get it from the chat. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Set Chalk. <laughs> All right. So it looks like we're actually trying to fix. We're trying to fix something. Oh, the headsets. Maybe it's the capture card itself. No, I think the no, capture card's fine. Not really sure. It's an audio issue. Yeah. Actually, yeah, it is probably that set. It's all plugged into there, after all. Okay, but... Yeah. Oh, well. There's, like, a whole crowd of people just right behind us. Just yeah, they're... Probably one station. They're watching Sid <coughs> play someone else. I have no idea who it is, so I can't see who it is. Nothing do I. It looks like a double...